to Welcome to Logo History, where we take a look at what the logo was like over the years. Hey guys, Retro Galaxy here, and welcome to the fifth episode of Logo Evolution Requested. Hey there guys, it's Kipo here, and welcome back to Logo History. Hello everyone! My name is Mikael Sanchez, and welcome to another episode of Logo History. Hello guys, Mitchell's and Ethan here, back again from another video today. Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of my new series, Logo History Collab Entry. Hey guys, it's your boy, Peter John. Today I am bringing you the 19th episode of Logo History. And for this episode, we are doing NBC. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at NBC. And today we are taking a look at NBC, the National Broadcasting Company. They are doing Logo History f number 53 on NBC. So for this episode, we're going to take a look at NBC. Today it is about NBC. I hope you like it. NBC was a channel launched in 1926. And it has been a very popular channel and still is today. It's also very iconic for its peacock. And NBC also stands for National Broadcasting Company, if some of you don't know this. If you don't know what the logo was like over the years, this video will show you along the way. Here's the info about it. If you don't know what NBC is, it is an American English language commercial terrestrial radio and television network owned by Universal, a subsidiary of Comcast. The network is headquartered at 30 Rockefeller Plaza in New York City, with additional major offices near Los Angeles, Chicago, and Philadelphia. Here's the show fire for those who don't know what NBC is. The National Broadcasting Company, or NBC, is an American English language commercial terrestrial radio and television network that is the flagship property of the NBC Universal Television and Streaming Division of NBC Universal, a subsidiary of Comcast. The network is headquartered at 30 Renner Plug Plaza in New York City, with additional major offices near Los Angeles at 10 Universal City Plaza, Chicago at the NBC Tower, and Philadelphia at the Comcast Technology Center. The network is one of the big three television networks. NBC is sometimes referred to as the Peacock Network, in reference to its stylized Peacock logo, introduced in 1956 to promote the company's innovations and in early color broadcasting. It became the network's official emblem in 1979. Founded in 1926 by the Radio Corporation of America, or RCA, NBC is the oldest major broadcast network in the United States. At that time, the parent company of RCA was General Electric. In 1932, GE was forced to sell RCA and NBC as a result of antitrust charges. In 1986, control of NBC passed back to General Electric, or GE, through a $6.4 billion uh, purchase of RCA. GE immediately began to liquidate R uh, 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 RCA's various divisions, but retained but retained NBC. After the acquisition by GE, Bob Wright became Chief Executive Officer of NBC. He will remain in that position until his retirement in 2007, when he was succeeded by Jer Jeff Zucker. In 2003, French media company Vivendi merged its entertainment assets with GE, forming NBC Universal. Comcast purchased a control uh, controlling interest in the company in 2011 and acquired General Electric's remaining stake in 2013. Following the Comcast merger, Zucker left NBC Universal and was replaced as CEO by Comcast executive Steve Burke. NBC has 13 owned and operated stations and nearly 200 affiliates throughout the United States and its territories, some of which are also available in Canada and or Mexico via pay television providers or in border areas over the air. NBC also maintains broad brand licensing agreements for international channels in South Korea and Germany. And that's everything you need to know about NBC. Here's the short pile if you don't know what National Broadcasting Company or NBC is. It is an American English language commercial broadcast television ne radio network owned by Comcast. The network is headquartered at 30 Rockefeller Plaza in New York City, with additional major offices near Los Angeles at 10 Universal City Plaza and Chicago at the NBC Tower. NBC is one of the big three television networks, and 
is sometimes referred to the Peacock Network in reference to its stylized Peacock logo introduced in 1956 to to promote the company's in, innovations in color broadcasting. It became the network's official emblem in 1979. Its availability is in the United States, Southern Canada, and Northern Mexico. It was founded in November 20. November 15, 1926 as a radio network and April 30th, 1939 as a television network by David Sarnoff. Its slogans are Share the Moment, Big TV Starts Here, and I'm sorry I forgot to put the S in the word start. But anyways, moving on. And Comedy Starts Here. Uh, for comedy programming. Its parent is NBC Entertainment, NBC Universal Television, and Streaming. Their website is NBC.com. And its website is NBC.com. Anyways, without further ado, let's go on a journey through the history of NBC. And now, without further ado, let's get started. So now, without further ado, let's get into the local history of NBC. Let's start. Okay, guys. Now, without further ado, let's get right into the logos. 1926 to 1931, we have a telegraph thingy with lightning bolts coming out, and we have the initials NBC on the top. 1926 to 1931, we have the word NBC in black text. Below it, we have a black and white old microphone. We also have the nine black lightning bolts surrounding the microphone. Behind the microphone and the lightning bolts, we have the entire map of the United States. 1926 to 1931, we have the letters NBC. Black text, and we have like a telegraph thingy, and this is the colored version. Nineteen twenty six to nineteen thirty one, we have the word NPC and black text under it. There's a radio wave on signal, and we have radio bars. We have lightning bolts coming out of the radio signal, and behind it is a map of the United States of America. That's all there is to it. Here is the red version, and here is the blue version. 1925 to 1931, we have um, a thing. I think that's a um, telephone thing with um, lightning around it, surrounding it. And we have the um, US United States in like a um, reddish background, I think. And it has a square surrounding the whole thing with the text NBC. 1926 to 1931, there is a radio surrounded by n nine lightning bolts. And behind it, there's the, the map of America. And on the top, here we have the letters NBC in black text. nineteen twenty six to nineteen thirty one there is a microphone surrounded by lightning bolts and on the background there is the map of the united states of america also on the top there are the letters n b and c in black text nineteen thirty one to nineteen forty two we have a square that has the letters nbc and we have a bunch of 
lightning light, lightning bolts coming out. 1931 to 1942, we have the letters N, B, and C in black text with the letter B being surrounded by five black lightning bolts. All of these are inside of the black rounded square. 1931 to 1942, we have the letters NBC in black text, and coming out of the B are lightning bolts. From 1931 to 1942, we have a rounded white square on a black outline inside the other ones, MVC and black text, and surrounded by the letter B, there are four black lightning bolts. 1931 to 1942, we got, um, we got the words, we got the, um, text MVC with the lightning in the, in the white background with a, a outlined square. 40 black outline square 1931 to 1942 here we have a black here we have a white square with a black outline and here we have the letters mbc in black text in the diagonal form and there's also five lightning bolts inside it nineteen thirty one to nineteen forty two here we have a square and inside it there are the letters n b and c in black text and in diagonal also there are lightning bolts around the letter b here is a bumper nineteen forty three to nineteen forty six we we kind of like have a microphone that has letters NBC on it, and we have a bunch of lightning bolts and stripes, whatever, on it, on the, as the background. 1943 to 1946, we have a black and white microphone with the letters N, B, and C in white text inside of it. Also, surrounding the microphone, we have the red lightning bolts on the right side and the red waves on the left side. All of these are inside of a white background. 1943 and 1946, we have a microphone with the letters NBC on it, it's in white text, and we have lightning bolts and some stripes. Nineteen forty three, nineteen forty six. We have a uh, black and white microphone, and other than NBC white text, and surrounding it, uh, and surrounding the microphone, we have red lightning waves. Well, lightning waves, and everything is inside this white square. Nineteen forty three to nineteen forty six. We got. It kind of looks like an end of a um, a guitar. I keep thinking of that, but it's actually a microphone. I didn't notice that. <laughs> I thought it was like an end of like a top of the guitar, a guitar, but no. So anyways, we got the NBC text right um beside the microphone, and the microphone has um red spots, and we have like um we have red lightnings, lightning surrounding this side. And we have some curly lines surrounding this side. 1943 to 1946. There's a black microphone surrounded by lightning bolts and red lightning bolts and red wavy lines. And inside the microphone, there are the, there are the letters NBC in white text. Nineteen forty three to nineteen forty six, there is a black microphone surrounded by red lightning bolts, and inside the black microphone there are the letters and B and C all in white text. Here is a bumper. This is NBC, the National Broadcasting Company. The 
1946 to 1952. Plain, this is just plain, simple, plain old NBC. 1946 to 1952. We just have the word NBC in black text. 1946 and 1952, it's just words NBC and black text. Um, 1946 to 1952, we just have the word NBC and black text. Nothing to say about it here. 1946 to 1952, we only have. The text NBC. 1946 to 1952, we just have the letters NBC in black text. Nineteen forty six to nineteen fifty two, there is the word NBC in black text. Here is a bumper. NBC television. Nineteen fifty two to nineteen fifty three. This this has NBC in three D letters. Nineteen fifty two to nineteen fifty three. We have the word NBC in white text with a black drop shadow. Nineteen fifty two to nineteen fifty three. We have the word what is NBC in white text with black drop shadow. Nineteen fifty two to nineteen fifty three, the font change and now is white and on a black a lot and a three D. Nineteen fifty two to nineteen fifty three we got we got the words NBC with the um drop shadow or something like that. And and the um NBC text is, is white. Nineteen fifty two to nineteen fifty three. Now the text is is white. And it's in a black outline. And also, the font has changed. 1952 to 1953. The font has changed. And now the text is white. And it has black shadows. Here is a bumper. Nineteen fifty four, nineteen fifty nine. 1954 to 1959. We have NBC on a xylophone. Or a marimba, or or a vitaphone, whatever. And and it goes ding, ding, ding. It goes ding, ding. <laughs> Sorry, ding, ding, ding. It goes like that. 1953 to 1959. We have a logo that looks like a xylophone. There are three bars on this logo. The bar on the right is red with the letter N in white text. The bar on the middle is green and has the letter B also in white text. And the bar on the left is blue with the letter C in white text. These bars are in different sizes. Also, behind the red bar, we have a black mallet. 1953 to 1959, we have a xylophone with the letters NBC in white text. And it goes like this. Ding. Ding, ding. 1953 to 1959, we have the letters A, B, C in black in white text. The letter N is inside this red rectangle. The letter B is inside this green rectangle. And the letter C is inside this blue rectangle. And they're all connected by black lines and also a black melon under it. And all this resembles a xylophone. Here's the black white version. 1953 to 1959. This is the most. I think this is a, a kind of like the oldest popular one, where it has this song goes, ding ding ding. If I um sing that wrong, or sing that right. Anyways, we have this um saxophone with a um with the bong. 1953 to 1959. Now the text is in is in the uh, notes of a xy of a xylophone, and on the bottom there's a, a mallet. So yeah, we have 
the letter N, but inside, uh, a red rectangle, the letter B, inside the green rectangle, and also the letter C inside the a, a blue rectangle. So yeah, there you have it. 1953 to 1959. Here we have a stylized xylophone with three notes and a black mallet. Here is the black and white version and a bumper. Nineteen fifty six to nineteen seventy five. This is where we start to see the iconic peacock. Yay! Cause everybody loves the peacock, don't they? And yeah, it has a bunch of feathers on it. Yeah. We also have the print version of this. Nineteen fifty six to nineteen seventy five. We now have a peacock with eleven feathers. The colors of the feathers are red, orange. Yellow, lime, blue, and purple. Also, the body of the peacock is white with the black outline. 1956 and 1975. Uh, this is where we start to see the iconic peacock. So we have the peacock with so many feathers and with these thingies on top of them, which are different colors than the actual feathers. Nineteen fifty six to nineteen seventy five, we have an eleven for a peacock. We have something in transmission to color. So that's all there is to it. I love it. That's something cool. I love it. Um anyways, here's the print version. Uh yeah, the, the here's the color print version, and here's the print version. Nineteen fifty six to nineteen seventy five, we got the peacock. This is where it starts to have the peacock. So we got we got all the colors of the rainbow with the um circles. I don't know why they have circles on it. Like in different colored surf girls, and we got the peacock, and the um, rainbow things are or its wings or feathers. This is a print version. Nineteen fifty six to nineteen seventy five. Here we have a rainbow feathered peacock. So the feather feathers are in rainbow color, but the but the peacock is the peacock is uh. White. 1956 to 1975, there are 11 feathered peacock indicating richness in color. Here is the print version and a bumper. Count Basie swing and let's all make a date. The name's Joe Williams and I'm here to state that the following show starring Mr. B comes to you and live in color on NBC. Nineteen fifty nine to nineteen seventy five. This is where we start to see another iconic NBC logo, the NBC Snake, and it has that same tone as the xylophone. It goes <clears throat> ding 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 ding. It goes like that. Nineteen fifty eight to nineteen seventy five. We have the letters N. B and C in black texture and it's being connected to each other. 1956 and 1975, we have the, this is another famous NBC logo, a snake, the snake. So we have the letters NBC in black text and it goes the same tone as the xylophone. Ding, ding, ding. Nineteen fifty nine to nineteen seventy five. Um, we just have the letters N, B, and C all black text, and they're connected to each other, uh, and that's why it's nicknamed the NBC Snake. <sighs> I hate snakes. Anyway, here's the version with the NBC Television Network logo on it, and here's the alternative version. Nineteen ninety five to nineteen seventy five, and this is the um snake logo. So it does the same. It has the same fanfare. See saxophone, xylophone. Are saying, are saying that right? So it says, ding, ding, ding. 1958 
1975. Now, here we have... On the top, here we have the, um, the letters N, B, and on the bottom, here we have the letters C. All, both of them are in white, uh, are in black text, but it's connected. And it and it's representing the uh, representing a snake. Yeah, the NBC snake. Anyways, moving on. 1959 to 1975. On the top, there are the letter N and B in black text, and at the bottom there is the letter C also in black text. Every letter is connected, forming a snake. Here is a bumper. Produced in association with the NBC Television Network. 1967. Uh, we have an alternative version of this logo introduced in an NBC television special a, called A Hard Day's Night. Now, uh, yes, A Hard Day's Night. That's all there is to it. 1976 to 1979. This is, this is where we start to see the N instead of the peacock or the snake. And also we have the print version. 1975 to 1979, we have a letter N that is made up of two trapezoids. The trapezoid on the left side is red and the other trapezoid on the right is blue. 1975 to 1979, we have an, the N has a red part and a blue part. Nineteen seventy five to nineteen seventy nine, um we we have two trapezoids, one red, red, blue, four with the letter N. We have the print version, the version with the Warwick, and a variant with the Warwick. Nineteen seventy five to nineteen seventy nine. We got just only this um N. The um the red part is just kinda like a shape. And the other shade is blue. And this is also the print version. Nineteen seventy five to nineteen seventy nine. Now we have two tra trapezoids, one red and one, bru one blue, and it's representing a letter N. 1975 to 1979, here we have two trapezoids, one blue and one red, representing a letter N. Here is the print version and a bumper. 1979 to 1986, we have the blue N with the peacock with a bunch of feathers on it. Peacock comes back, which is good. And also the print version. 1979 to 1986, the letter N have changed into a blue outline text. Also, the peacock was re-added in front of the logo. This peacock have 11 feathers in six different colors. The body of the peacock is white. And the peacock is with a blue outline that is connected to the letter N. 1979 to 19. 86 we have the peacock and that looks different and we have the ends outline on it and the peacock is also outlined nineteen seventy nine to nineteen eighty six uh the letter the letter for the previous logo is now on a blue border, and now in the middle of it we have an letter for the peacock, uh, on a white and blue, on a white blue outline, with, with with yellow, orange, red, pink, uh, purple, indigo, and blue. Here's the monochrome version, the print version, uh, the symbol itself, the print version symbol, the end border, the blue and uh, red version. The 1979-1980 version and the 1980-1981 version. 1979-1986, we got the peacock with the N. And it had, it had the unknown uh, circles on it, so yeah. And this is the print version. 1979-1986. So yeah, the, the peacock is back. So yeah, here we have the peacock. The peacock is back, but it's different now. And uh, yeah, and behind it here we have the um, the letter N. That's the, the 
that's the previous logo that I talked about, but it's different. It's it's in a blue outline. 1979 to 1986. Here we have in the middle the 11 feathered peacock, and in the background there is the letter N from the previous logo, but now it is white and with blue border. Here is the print version, the symbol version and a bumper. This is NBC. 1986 to the present. This logo can still be seen today, it's, but instead of the peacock having like so many different colors on its feather, it only has six colors. Yellow, orange, red, purple, blue, and green. And we have the letters NBC on, on the bottom of the peacock. And also we have the print version of this. 1986 to 2010, the blue end was removed and the peacock was modified, reducing the number of feathers from 11 to only six. The colors of the feathers are now yellow, orange, red, purple, blue, and green. Also, the word NBC in black text was added below the peacock. 1986 to the present and 1986 to 2011. This logo can still be seen today. So we have the peacock. It only has like six feathers on its tail. It's yellow, orange, red purple, blue, and green, and we have the letters NBC and black text under it. Let's say 2011, we know the iconic logo we saw today, we see today, um, uh, now it now it's down to just eleven. Now now there are only six feathers. One each each one representing a different uh -huh, a different asset of the company. Um, we have the uh, oh we have a uh, um uh, yellow, orange, red, purple, blue, and green for uh, news, sports, entertainment stations. Productions and and the company itself. So yeah, I, I know the drill. So so yeah, orange. Was yeah, um, yellow, orange, red, purple, blue, green. That's all the rest of it. Um, the print version here. We got the bottom card version. Uh, the, an alternative version of the bottom card version without the peacock head, used in the nineteen nineties. Uh, we have the symbol itself. Uh, the symbol without the border. A print version of the symbol. Uh, the logo itself, but without the border. Uh, we have the horizontal version. The horizontal version without the border. Uh, the print version of the horizontal version. Uh, uh the grayscale version. The grayscale version of the symbol. Uh, the world mark. Uh, the red color version. The red color version of the symbol. Uh, a gradient version of the symbol. And the, the cartoon version of the symbol made by John Krefelewski. If I'm saying this right, similar to Spumco. 1986 to the present, this also can be seen today. We got the young peacock, it's a little bit updated. See the peacock? Um, it has, it has, um, it used to be having. It used to have, it used to have, the peacock used to have 11 feathers. Now it has, now the NPC peacock has, has six, um, feathers. So, the first peacock, um, letter is, or not letter, the f feather or <coughs> wing is yellow. Second one is orange. Third one is red or kind of like a, I don't know. Like it kind of looks like it's, it does not look like it's red, but might you guys see it's kind of not red. And this one's blue, kind of like a purple bluish. This one's a blue, and this one's a green. And we have the text NBC under the peacock. And this is also the print version. 1986 to 2010. Now the peacock is different again. So here we have six colors of the feathers. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And it's on a, and it's on a, a white outline. 
And also, there's a white peacock. So yeah, and on the bottom, here we have the letters NBC in black text. 1986 to 2011, the letter N has been removed, and now the peacock is simplified, being just six feathered. Also, on the bottom, there is the word NBC in black text. Here is the print version, the symbol and a bumper. This is the NBC Television Network. 2011 to 2013. This is actually one of my favorites. It's just the peacock with the six, six colorful, the six colorful feathers. 2010 to 2013, the peacock was modified into a 3D look. Also, the word NBC below the peacock was dropped from the logo. 2011 to 2013, we have the peacock in its glossier. And it has a uh, gray outline. Just love to just 13, the logo is now 3D, the word NBC has been removed, and that's all there is to it. Let's see about that here. Uh, this is the, the white border version, uh, uh, a variant, a variant with a white border, uh, the, the green version, the red version used for Valentine's Day 2012 and 2013, uh, a 3D version with the, with the white outline, and the 3D version with the silver outline. 2011-2013, we got this on just only the peacock. Or just with glossy stuff on it. And it's, yes. Now it's kind of like in this um, peacock wing. Wing is just red now. 2010 to 2013. Now. The, the letter is NBC. Now the text NBC has been removed. And here we only have the peacock. But... The peacock is is in uh, is in gradient version. 2011 to 2013, the text has been removed, and now the peacock is in a 3D effect. And finally, 2013 to the present, we have the peacock with the um with the um six colors on its feathers, and we have the letters N B C on the bottom, kind of like the 1986 to the present version. 2013 to the present. The peacock was modified again, but this time, with the glossier look. And the word NBC in black text was re-added below the peacock. And finally, 2013 to the present, we have the peacock, it's not 3D, and we have the letters NBC in the bottom. And finally, 2013 to the present, um, uh, the, the, the logo became more 3D, and the NBC Walmart also returned, but this time it is in our font, so that's all there is to it. Um, we have the print version, uh, the monochrome version, uh, the, the flat version, the print, uh, uh the symbol itself, uh, the print version of the symbol, the 2D version of the symbol, uh, the 2D version of the symbol, but without the border, uh, the Walmart, uh, the bright color version, the bright color version of the symbol, uh, the horse of the version, the per version horse of the version, and a very other horse of the version. 2013 to the present, it's just kind of like the same thing right here, but a little bit um, glossier, and the um, font for the NBC text is changed, and the, um, the, um, and this is actually purple, that's actually purple, uh, this color right here, changed to this color, right over here, changed to purple, yeah, and it's and now um the um, wing for the red wing for the peacock is now kind of, now it's really red, and this wing right here is now really purple. And this is also the print version. Two thousand thirteen to the present. Now the the text NBC is back, but they changed the font, and also. The peacock is is now 3D. 2013 to the present, now the peacock is even more 3D. And the word NBC is back, but in a different font. 
Here is the print version, the symbol and a bumper. Two thousand twenty to the present, same thing as the previous logo, but the icon of NBC's streaming service, Peacock, was added next to the logo. Anyways, that is all for now. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Logo History, and I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new episode. Oh, and I forgot, we have the print version of this. Now stay tuned for episode 14, ABC. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching this episode of Logo Evolution Requested. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And turn on notifications so you don't miss a single video, as we are on the road to 300 subscribers. Also, don't forget to request a logo for the next episode guys, as requests will be closed in 48 hours. Goodbye. Alright, that's it. Thank you so much for watching the 22nd episode of Logo History. And I'll see you in a few minutes for a brand new episode. The next episode is ABC. Bye for now. Alright, thanks for watching another episode of Logo History. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit your notification bell, so that way you do not miss a single video whenever it comes out. Make sure you hit your notification bell, and please subscribe to the channel. I really dare you, if you appreciate it. Alright, thanks for watching. I'm Amy Gossage, you're being yourself, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode of Logo History. Make sure you come back again next time for episode 3, which is going to be about ABC, the American Broadcasting Company, for... All of us here look at history. I'm Miguel Sanchez, and I'll see you in another video. Peace out, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Laters. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Did smash like button, subscribe, and comment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned for part 54. It's top 15s. Peace out. All right, guys. This is going to be it for this video, for this episode, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Okay, guys. This is it for today. I really hope you liked it, because it took me one whole day. Stay tuned for 20th episode, that is going to be Fox. Until tomorrow, bye.